All right, guys, gals, Troy here from Quad Standard Labs. Uh, just have two platforms in front of us that we're doing a lot of R&D and testing and starting to ship out. Um, some lots of questions coming in about both these platforms, and we wanted to kind of run down the basics uh, differences between the two. Each platform will end up with their own introduction. The Thick already has that introduction video. Feel free to go check it out on our YouTube channel. Um, it'll give you a lot of the, the, the big questions uh, as far as you know what you can do with this thing and the weight payloads and stuff like that. Um, but at any rate, uh, both platforms are actually going to be built on the same running gear. Uh, obviously, the thick here, which is a ducted thick, um, shorter arms in a traditional thick, different motors in a traditional thick, five inch prop in a printed duct, and you get the molded duct. Again, go watch the introduction. Drone Co's shot collar, which we really love, is a pretty awesome little platform. People made see it and think it looks kind of like a QAV Pro or something like that. This thing is in its own right, really well designed. Uh, basically, you've got a drone that's built and then put into a cage. So the cages actually can come off and you can interchange that cage. Um, and you could actually fly it without a cage if you needed to. Um, that being said, um, the differences between these two are pretty obvious when it comes to size. Uh, center of gravity and mass on both really need to be well centered, but when you have it spread out with the ducts the way that the thick has, uh, it comes out at a really, really stable platform. Uh, but it comes at the cost of being wide. Uh, you get everything really as low profile on both platforms um, because really the shot collar is going to come in a little thinner. But if you look at them, uh, if the mounts were equally angled, they really do pretty much sit at the same height. Um, now, the difference is going to be with the thick, you're going to mount the battery on the bottom. On the shot collar, there's a few different options. You, on the bigger batteries, you may mount it on the bottom, but for most of your batteries, we're going to be able to get them across the top plate. Um, and so that's going to, again, keep everything nice and centered, which is going to give you just a really well-balanced platform, and it's a little more nimble. So open props are grabbing that air and really able to you know, manipulate the movement, so it's going to feel much more like an open prop design. Um, yaw and everything on the ducted drone is gonna be there and it's gonna be nice and stable, but it's not gonna have as much authority as something with the open prop. Um, so if you're really wanting to get those nice, like, you know, really hard yaw shots or something like that, you can still get them, don't get me wrong, with either one of these, but um, being a little more nimble in, in, in the outdoor situation might be where this is gonna shine more. Um, the, the ducks over here are going to act as sails, just like a squirt or something else. Uh, though it flies great, we've tested it in 10 mile an hour plus wind. Um, if you were to ask me which one for outdoors, I would really think that this is going to be you know, your, your go-to, the shot collar. Um, as far as the amount of wind and sound, which are two main things that these types of platforms really produce a lot of, uh, the ducted thick with the printed prop uh, ducts is going to be a much lower tone, even though it's spinning the same motor in the same size prop. The cage design tends to be a louder, kind of higher pitch sound. It also has a tendency to throw air in a wider direction, so it may seem like it's actually more turbulent that it's creating. Um, because it possibly is. Whereas with the thick, with these ducks, if anybody's flown an Insider or a Finster or one of these, you really get that focused downward you know, airflow. And then when you're tilting either direction, that's where the airflow is gonna go. So you really know where the airflow is gonna go with this. Um, with the open cage, um, for indoor work, especially maybe with a lot of papers or something like that, um, I don't know. It's going to be application driven and really how much turbulence in what space that you can have. Um, but again, higher pitch sound, a little lower pitch. They're both spinning the same size prop. So in reality, um, the decibels, I'm sure, are very similar. Um, we haven't actually measured that, but that'll come soon. Um, otherwise, really, you're looking at, again, really similar platforms. Um, it's really going to come down to, I think this is going to be more of your indoor work and really up close near stuff. Um, this will become, you still can get near stuff and all of that, but you may want to stay just a little bit further away, uh, just because it's not quite as much of a bumper, so to speak, with a little bit more open. Um, other than that, they're both on the site, ready to go. Uh, not ready to go, but ready to buy. Uh, everything's getting made uh, for the shot collar in terms of frame or on the way. 
um, ducted fix. We can get the frames whenever we need them to build, and we're building small batches of them to order. So uh, both of these are, are built to order and ready to get put in line. Uh, so look forward to seeing what everybody does with this stuff, and I hope I answered those kind of bigger questions. Um, and before I go, last thing, payloads. Both of these are stated on, the, on their individual page, but just know that you're working with a battery and camera payload weight that is equal to 13 to 1600 to be really in their sweet spot. Um, that's grams, 1300 grams or 1 1.3 kilograms or 1.6 kilograms. And then you can push that battery and camera all the way up to about 1900 grams. Um, always test accordingly and always you know, be safe about how you're testing, check that CG. Um, and let us know how everything goes. Fly safe, fly smart. Let's fly. Peace.